Hey everybody, it's Tuesday. This apartment is always really quiet and I feel like if I'm too loud, everybody in the building will be able to hear me. That's kind of embarrassing. I had a job interview today. I don't usually dress up in a nice shirt and a vest. Um, although I do like this sort of getup. Dun, 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 dun. Um, the weather here is really cool. It's nice and been going out walking and we went geocaching on Sunday and I've never done that before. It was really fun and um, looking forward to doing that at Rockstock. If you haven't heard about geocaching, um, I'll put a link over there. It's quite exciting. It's like casual treasure hunting. My fossum fact for today is that it's not really fossum, but it's interesting. Fortune cookies are not actually Chinese. They didn't come from China. They were developed in America. Although I guess you could call them Chinese because they are popularized by American Chinese food. So I read this in a book called The Fortune Cookie Chronicles that I'm reading for a review website. And it's pretty cool. It's, um, I'm only two chapters into it, but I recommend it. It's very entertaining. It's got travel and trivia aspects to it and everything. The challenge list is getting kind of depleted, so if you can come up with some more challenges, that would be super. Um, I know of one that I want to do for next week if nobody does it before me, but um, I'm noticing a pattern that you guys like wizard rock, music, art, and cooking related challenges. So include some of those. Just go to the Facebook group, I'll link over there. and. Um, now I'm going to do my challenge for this week, which is making a dragon cake. And this was suggested by Lose You Slowly. So here we go, dragon cake time.
now it's time for an intermission where I address what took place in other Wiz Rocketeer videos while I eat a chocolate bunny I got for Easter. Leah, your Seder looked really fun. And I know I left a comment on your video, something along those lines. My family holidays are usually fun. But there's no singing. And the singing was definitely cool. I can tell you're a really musical person. And it must be really fun to have your whole family be musical. At least during holidays. Which reminds me of something else. I'm not sure why, but Chris mentioned the other day that we should just start celebrating random holidays from around the world. Now Chris is obsessed with Rome and ancient Romans. So Chris, I think it might be fun to start celebrating some Roman holidays. There are at least four feasts in May alone. And Wikipedia has a huge long list of various festivals and celebrations and things like that that ancient Romans used to take. What Kimmy didn't mention in her video was that when she was um, doing the concert helping thing with Third Eye Blind, it was the same weekend that Chris and I were in Philadelphia. And Kimmy was very upset that she couldn't hang out with us. So she called me a bunch of times, being all sad and mopey and complainy, and mad at the world. She wasn't a happy camper. But the night turned out okay, didn't it? Amy, it seems like you had a really moving experience with your um, project, first school on the Uncultured Project. I am glad. And I wish that you would have taped it or something, because it seems like it was really amazing. I like being charitable and active and things like that, and I really have to find something to do in order to make the world a better place. Because I like to do that, and I don't. And I have to figure out why, and how to do something on a regular basis that I will continue doing without having to be prompted. Now, I would like to know who all you guys are voting for for president. Now you don't have to answer, but I think it would be interesting to find out. And finally, Danny, it sounds like you had a little bit of fun at your wedding. It seems kind of like a strange wedding though. And that, that, yeah, I don't know. But I did like your puppets. I just found out that it's 46 days until my birthday. I'm gonna be 26. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So I'm gonna go ponder and I'll see you next week.